Hi hey friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about regulation of water and electrolyte balance. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So let's get started. So water is a vital component of the human body and uh, it plays a critical role in various uh, physiological processes. The human body is made up of extra, approximately 60 to 70 percentage water and which is distributed throughout the different tissues and organs. Water is present in uh, bodily fluids like uh, blood, lymph and uh, cerebrospinal fluid and it is very essential for proper functioning. The body relies on uh, water to maintain a range of uh, functions. This includes the uh, temperature maintenance or the regulation of temperature, nutrient transport, waste uh, removal and also the cellular metabolism. So water is very essential for maintaining the optimal health and wellness. So what is water balance? Uh, water balance refers to the equilibrium between water intake and output in the body. Maintaining a proper water balance is very critical for uh, a body to function correctly because it is very important to maintain the water equilibrium. The human body has uh, several mechanisms in place to ensure that the water balance is maintained. Water in uh, intake occurs through uh, drinking fluids and consuming foods that contain water and the body can also produce water through metabolic processes. Water output occurs through several mechanisms. Uh, this may include uh, sweating, urination and uh, breathing. If you do a lot of exercise and you sweat a lot, uh, you will lose a lot of water. The uh, body closely regulates the water balance to ensure that uh, there is not an excessive loss or gain of water. So this is the critical part. Uh, the body uh, regulates this to maintain the water in the body. The hypothalamus in the brain is responsible for regulating the uh, thirst and signal in the kidneys to conserve or excrete water as needed. So kidney also plays a very crucial role in maintaining the water balance by adjusting the volume and uh, concentration of urine that is produced based on the body's needs. The kidneys can conserve water by producing more concentrated urine when water intake is limited. So when the water intake is um, less, the uh, urine concentration will be there. There will be uh, production of concentrated urine or they can excrete ex excess water when water intake is excessive. So if you drink a lot of water, uh, there are various uh, factors that can affect the water balance and uh, this includes the environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity, physical activity as I mentioned earlier, the, like the exercise, illness and medication. So these things can uh, you know uh, affect the water balance. Uh, dehydration can occur when water output exceeds the water intake leading to symptoms such as thirst, dry mouth and dark urine. And overhydration, on the other hand, can uh, occur when water intake exceeds the water output. This uh, leads to the symptoms like nausea, headache, and confusion. So, when there is a uh, you know lesser water intake, uh, it, it shows a dehydration, and when there is an uh, over intake of water, it is called overhydration. So, both are not good. Uh, it should maintain a certain level of uh, water in the body. Uh, coming to the electrolytes and the uh, their role and uh, distribution. Electrolytes are uh, electrically charged ions that play a very uh, important role in many physiological processes in the body. These include maintaining uh, proper fluid balance, uh, regulating nerve and muscle function, controlling pH level, uh, etc. So the, uh, the electrolytes also uh, play a major role in regulating the water or these are closely related. The most common electrolytes in the uh, body include sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarbonate, calcium and uh, magnesium and the normal levels of uh, electrolytes are uh, for sodium it is around 135 to 145 milliequivalents per ml potassium it is around uh, 3.5 to 5.2 milliequivalents per ml chloride it is in the range of uh, you know uh, 96 to 106 bicarbonate uh, it's around uh, uh, 22 to 29 whereas calcium it is around 8.5 to uh, 10.5 uh, milligram per deciliter Electrolytes are uh, distributed throughout the body with uh, different concentration in uh, different compartments. And sodium is the most abundant electrolyte in the extracellular fluid, where uh, potassium is the most abundant in the intracellular fluid. So the uh, the amount of uh, you know these electrolytes present in the extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid can be uh, different. The sodium, uh, which is mostly seen in the extracellular fluid, whereas in potassium is seen in the uh, in uh, intracellular fluid. Uh, chloride is primarily found in the extra, uh, extracellular fluid while the bicarbonate is mainly present in the blood. Calcium and magnesium, uh, these are primarily found in the bone and muscle tissue. So each of these has uh, its own, uh, you know, uh, functions to maintain. The distribution of electrolyte uh, is uh, essential for maintaining the uh, proper fluid balance as mentioned earlier. The electrolytes move between the compartments in response to changes in the concentration pressure and the pH. Uh, the movement is facilitated by various transport 
transporters and other channel lines in the uh, cell membrane. So that allows the movement of um, these ions uh, through the uh, cell membranes. Electrolyte uh, imbalance can occur when there is a disruption in the distribution or concentration of these ions. As mentioned earlier, the electrolytes uh, are present in certain uh, range and if this can cause the imbalance can occur when there is a disruption in the distribution. Excessive sitting can lead to uh, sodium and chloride loss uh, leading to dehydration and electrolyte imbalance this is one of the example and uh, chronic kidney disease can also lead to imbalance in the electrolyte level because it cannot uh, retain the electrolytes and uh, you know the uh, the regulation of uh, water level uh, will get uh, disrupted. Um, the, such as um, the high level of potassium or uh, low level of calcium when there is a chronic uh, kidney disease. The symptoms of electrolyte imbalance can vary uh, depending on the type and severity of imbalance. Mild imbalances uh, may not cause any symptoms while uh, severe imbalance can lead to muscle weakness, seizure and uh, uh, cardiac um, uh, issues. The treatment for electrolyte imbalance involves uh, identifying the cause first and then uh, restoring proper balance uh, throughout the dietary changes and medication sometimes even intravenous electrolyte solution so now we have uh, discussed about uh, you know water balance uh, effect of electrolyte and their uh, you know imbalances now let's see uh, the mechanism of uh, water regulation electrolyte balance the body has uh, several mechanism in place to regulate the balance of water and electrolytes and this mechanism work together to ensure that the body maintains optimal hydration and electrolyte levels. So it is very critical. One of the primary mechanism for regulating the water balance is the hormone antidiuretic hormone or the ADH. It is also known as the vasopressin. ADH is produced by the hypothalamus and uh, released by uh, pituitary gland in response to changes in the blood volume and pressure, blood pressure. The ADH acts on the kidneys to increase the water reabsorption, reducing urine output and conserving water in the body. The another mechanism is uh, by the, the renin antiotensin uh, aldosterone system or the RAAS system. It is another mechanism for regulating the water balance. The system is activated when the, there is a decrease in blood volume or blood pressure and the kidneys release this enzyme called renin which leads to the production of uh, angiotensin 2. The angiotensin 2 stimulates the release of aldosterone a hormone that increases the sodium reabsorption in the kidneys leading to water retention. Uh, the kidneys also play a uh, key role or crucial role in uh, electrolyte regulation. Uh, the concentration of electrolytes in the blood is tightly regulated by the kidneys which can adjust the concentration of urine produced based on the body's needs. For example, if the body needs to conserve sodium, the kidney will excrete less sodium in the urine. The hormone uh, aldosterone also plays a role in the electrolyte re regulation. The aldosterone uh, stimulates the reabsorption of sodium and excretion of potassium in the kidneys leading to an increase in blood sodium level and a decrease in the uh, blood protection levels. In addition to all these mechanism, body can also regulate water and electrolyte uh, balance um, through thirst and uh, dietary intake. When body is uh, dehydrated, the hypothalamus gives signals um, the sensation to thirst leading to increased water intake. Similarly, consuming foods and beverages with electrolytes such as sports drink can uh, help replenish the electrolyte levels in the body. Hope you're clear with the uh, topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and uh, share it with your friends. Thank you.